tell us, is it poutine or poutine? Poutine, yeah, poutine or poutine? Oh my goodness, that's even worse! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel Foodish Beauty. If you're new, my name is TJ and I upload weekly beauty and lifestyle videos. So if these are the videos you love to watch, then please don't forget to click that subscribe button and you would absolutely make my day. Now today, as you can see, Mr. Foolish Beauty hey. Mike is here. So that means we're doing another British and Chinese tasting video. So this week we are tasting some authentic Canadian snacks. My friend Elma and G, uh, her boyfriend G, who kindly bought us these Canadian snacks when we were in Canada. Thank you so much, Elma. She is an amazing YouTuber. I'll leave her channel link below in the description box as well as in the info bar in the corner so please don't forget to check her out but in the meantime I think we're gonna get snacking so what should we start first I think we should start with these what are they hickory sticks oh let's go they smell really smoky and then tea hickory sticks like potato chip sticks Tastes like barbecue flavour, doesn't it? Oh, I suppose hickory <laughs> would be barbecue. They taste fantastic. Mm. I kind of wish they were thicker, but they are very, very crispy. Liking these a lot. I like them too. They're really, really savoury. Okay, what do we want to do next? I think it's time to open these dill pickles. I think Elma and G told us that dill pickle crisps, chips, are really big business in Canada. So we bought a family size one. <laughs> Snake test. Ooh, definitely pickles. Oh, I love, love dill pickles. Um, so these already have like plus points from me. Ready? good. They're tangy, they have that really strong dill taste to them and they're also crispy. Crunchy. I love them. I don't like them. Yay! More for me. I'll stick with the, uh, the hickory smoke things. So his and hers crisp. So now to Dale I think it's time for some sweet treats and I have these here. They are maple leaf creme cookies. Sounds Sound good. good? Mm. Sound really good. I love maple syrup, do you? Absolutely love it. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot here. Yes. <laughs> oh, smell good. Oh, oh, oh. You can smell it when you first open. Yeah, <sighs> really strong of maple. Choose mm. what you like, sir. Lovely. These look so cute. They look like little maple leaves and they have a creme center inside that looks like there's maple syrup in there as well. So. Smells so good. Mm. I could eat a lot of these and feel really ill afterwards, but they are fantastic. They're so nice, they're not overly buttery. They're very maple syrupy. Mm. And the cream in the middle tastes quite light, doesn't it? Mm. It's not sickly, but it is very sweet. Very, very strong maple flavour, mm. which is great. So that's another thumbs up? Definitely. So what we have next? We have poutine crisps. Poutine? Poutine. We have no poutine. idea how to pronounce it correctly. I know Nazra, my friend from Montreal, and Elma as well. They both taught us how to say it correctly, but we're rubbish. Yeah, <laughs> tell us, is it poutine or poutine? Poutine? Oh my oh. goodness, that's even worse! Sorry. I'm so sorry! Anyway. But anyway, let's taste these crisps. They smell quite like poutine. You know, because we tasted poutine once. Hopefully you will have seen it in my vlog, Canada vlog. If you have, if that's already up, I'll obviously leave a link somewhere on the screen. Not heavily dusted. We shall see. They're nice. Mm. Again, very savoury. I love my crisps when they're super savoury. These are yummy. 
Next up is something maple syrupy again. This is the maple butter that Elma and G kindly got us and it looks like caramelised, crystallised maple syrup. Um, very similar to set honey. Smells like the maple cream inside the maple cookies. We don't have anything to spread it on, I'm afraid, so we're just going to do a neat taste test. It has a harder texture than Dolce de Leche, which I thought it might have the similar texture to. Should we have a go? So good. That is so naughty. That I wish we had in the UK. It's really, really clean, but also sweet. It has that really strong maple syrup taste. What do you think? I think it's like golden syrup and maple syrup combined, but in a sort of more buttery format. Yeah. Which works really well. It does have a buttery kind of texture to it. It's so, so yummy. So if you're ever in Canada, I recommend you take this home with you. Right, I think we have our last tasting of the day, and this is the Coffee Crisp from Nestle. Good old Nestle, you'd find them everywhere in the world, wouldn't you? Um, but we, do we have coffee in uh, the UK? It's not something I'm familiar with from the UK, but we've been reliably told this is definitely a Canadian kind of chocolate bar y type thing. Let's dig in. Uh, oh my goodness, that is hard to break. See, this time I'm really, really fair. This is hard, right? You guys are my witnesses. Mm. I think it's really nice. It has lots of layers of wafer inside, so it does have that really crunchy texture. Do you like it? I like it a lot, but I can't really sense the coffee. I can. The coffee is very faint, but it's definitely there. Um, I think it's because you're a coffee drinker and I'm not, so whenever there's coffee, present I can definitely taste it straight away so I think this is another winner for us I definitely like the wafer in there it makes it really crispy and last but not least we have an honorary mention for this little guy here it's a tin of pure maple syrup and where is it from it's from uh, Montreal uh, from G's uh, grandfather actually makes it himself can you imagine this is actually hand tapped maple syrup from someone else's is it his grandfather's from his grandfather's farm orchard, or, or maple maple farm whatever it is like. amazing and we can't wait to taste this but because you can see we are filming in the, our hotel room in vancouver right now we don't have a tin opener and if we open this there'll be no way that we can take it home with us and we don't want that to happen. So thank you so much Alma and Gerald, you are absolute stars and we can't wait to taste this. Canada trip has been amazing, hasn't it? It has. And we love Canadian food as you can see. Which one was your favourite? Uh, oh, really, probably the maple cookies and the hickory crisps. I was going to say the hickory crisps. Mine is definitely the dill crisps without a shadow of doubt and even the hickory crisps as well. I think they're so savoury and today I'm definitely in a more savoury mood. So oh can't forget the maple butter. That is yummy. Really really good. So that marks the end of this tasting video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you have then please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. As per usual, please don't forget to comment down below if you're a Canadian or if you've tried any of these food before. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, please don't forget to find me on all other social media platforms under the name Foodish Beauty so we can chat a little further about beauty, travel, fashion and food. Thank you so much for watching my friends. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.